it's uh, two meters wide, one and a half uphill, isolated down past our, our layer of concern. The last thing we did was cut the back wall. It off on its own, <laughs> RB1. We got one of those last one over on the little head wall. It's pretty cool. Buckled up here. So what's the loading tip for the next one? RB2. The skier approaches the block from above and gently steps down onto the upper part of the block within 35 centimeters of the upper wall. Here's the upper wall. So within 35 centimeters of that, I want to be positioned on the top part of the block, so not the halfway point. So just gently step down. I know I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> So, Watch out when Dave goes Yep, so it didn't fail. So uh -huh. that's an RB2. Two. Two. What's next? RB3. Without lifting the heels, the skier drops once from straight leg to bent leg position, feet together, pushing downwards and compacting surface layers. Don't do it yet. All right, who, who thinks it's going to fail on this one? Hands up. How aggressive is it? You're just, are you going? It's this right here. Failure or no? Hand up. Failure? Yeah, Philly. Failure, right? yeah. I think it's going to go on there. All right, we'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> that was, is that it? Oh, <laughs> that, was, that, that wasn't was a weak knee That was all my weight. So it looks like this. <laughs> ah, that's, more. Nope. Yeah, that's RB3. All right. You don't R jump. RB4. Skier jumps up and lands in the same compacted spot. This is where I put my money. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to go. Oh. <laughs> nice. Wow. <laughs> cool. So that's an RB4. If uh, if that didn't work, what's the next step? Uh, you jumped again in the same compacted spot. And that would be an RB5, and then RB6. Somebody else? What's it say? For for harder deep slabs, remove skis and jump on the same spot. For soft slabs or thin slabs where jumping without skis might penetrate through the slab, keep skis on, step down another 35 centimeters, almost to mid block, and push once, then jump three times. So, what's taking your skis off doing there? Why would you do that on a hard slab? It concentrates your weight. Yeah, it concentrates that stress bulb, uh, that stress bulb will penetrate deeper. So, I think the reason it didn't fail on my RB3 was it's a really hard pencil slab. It needed some oomph to get it to go. It wasn't a, a gentle trigger. But in turn, and then the last one, RB7. None of the loading steps produce a smooth slope parallel. Cool. So not only do we record, so for um, red flag uh, rating, RB4 is red flag. What is this test kind of simulating? Jump turn. Turning. Yeah, turn. Jump turn, skiing yeah. down a slope. So it's a pretty, pretty sweet test. So RB4 in RB3, RB2, RB1, those are all red flags, right? That's bad, bad stuff. That's so what did it say on the RB4. RB4. Yep.